And as we talk about some ways to save money this new year, we do want to do that without sacrificing the fun, right? So Christina Hernandez is here from Kidding Around Greenville with some good ideas for parenting on a budget in general. Welcome. Thank you. Um, uh, you went did some research for us here. Yeah. The, the grocery trips, the food, the shopping, mm -hmm. the family outings, the entertainment, all this stuff, as you know, really it's adds up, lot. doesn't it? What happens? I mean, you just cringe, right? Every time I look at your credit card statement. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot you've got to do. So you do. We start with the groceries. You say meal planning goes a long way. We should be it shopping does. the sales as well. What do we consider there? So first of all, meal planning is excellent because you don't want to be at like 3 o'clock in the middle of the day and be like, oh my gosh, what am I going to go buy or make for dinner? Because you'll just go and get like awful food and it's going to be expensive. So like <laughs> meal plan, yeah. right? Start meal planning. I always look at the weekly circulars. I'm like, okay, so chicken's on sale. This is what I'm going to make. I'm going to make chicken this week or ground beef or whatever it is, right? I mean, the internet's a wealth of information. It's easy to find cheap recipes. So you, you're looking ahead. You're going to shop the sales first and then you're going to work that into your meal plan. I mean, sometimes. If you, if you can, but you you know what? Yes. It's something to strive for. It is. Um, you also point out there are good deals to be had at farmers markets, especially later in the day, right? Yeah. So sometimes, like if you go to a farmers market, like towards the end, they'll, you know, hopefully, like want to get rid of their stuff and be like, okay, well, I'll give you this for a little less price. Um, and you can also do like pick your own. Um, like berries or apples and then save them, you know, during like yeah. freeze them and stuff like that. So you have them all year. Freeze them and save them. And then yeah. um, you go back and forth. Some people talk about grocery uh, delivery service. You know, you're yeah. paying your extra fees or whatever, but you say this is, you're a fan of this because it helps to save time and really avoids those impulse buys. Oh Yes. So I already know what I'm going to get, right? I like check it off on my like Instacart checklist mm -hmm. and then I just go pick it up and I don't have to like walk through the the grocery store, especially if you have kids, like, you know, they're going to be like, oh, I want, you know, these cheese yeah. things. No, that's not on our list. Stop and looking at those. This is the list. Yeah, we we're got not it. going inside. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really is efficient and, you know, there's pretty good deals to be had. It's Definitely. kind of amazing that they'll bring groceries to our house I know. for that. It is amazing. Uh, keeps us out of trouble. <laughs> and now a lot of people like to go out to dinner, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. It's worth considering places where kids eat free. It is, and there's a whole bunch of them here in Greenville. There's CeCe's Pizza, there's Mutt's Barbecue where kids eat free. Mm -hmm. They have to be three and under every day. We have a whole list, and let me just tell your viewers also, this is a really hard list to keep updated. So like, just check you know, wherever you go beforehand just to just to be sure that they do have kids Yeah, I'm sure. Different deals, yeah. different days. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Now let's talk shopping. You know, kids outgrow clothes and shoes so quickly. Um, yeah. And every once in a while, adults need a new outfit, too. So you yeah. like consignment shops. That's a great Love option. Love consignment shops. Like where Ava is today, right? Yeah. And yeah. nearly new. I mean, go there. <laughs> like, it's so great. I mean, but, but for women also, not just for kids. I mean, mm -hmm. I love like Once Upon a Child. And then there's big like consignment sales. Um, it's around the, this time of year. They usually do it twice a year. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. those, those big consignment sales. I mean, yeah. you can stock up for the whole year. They'll have those at the convention centers. Yep, they do. Those. Um, taking a trip with your family. You always love to get out and travel. That's not going to be cheap, <laughs> but you go during the off season. You stay someplace yeah. where you can cook. What kinds of tips do you have there? Yeah, so I always try to stay in like an Airbnb or a hotel that would have like a kitchenette or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so you can either make food beforehand and freeze it and then bring it with you. And then you don't have to cook on vacation. Yeah. Um, and then, but it's it's so much, it's just so much easier to like have a kitchen. You're not going to spend all that money when you go out to, you know, eat like seven days or wherever. Yeah, it just wouldn't be feasible no. for week. Um, and then finally, you've got to think about the free stuff. Some of the best things in life yes, are free. Um, right. Getting outside, uh, doing yes. something outdoors is great. Yeah, like go hiking. There's a lot of places you can go that you yeah. don't have to pay anything for. There you um, go. You I love all these pictures that you provided because you take your kids out and you do I all do. these things. You, you, you've got to put it to the test to write I do. about it. I really do. And I mean, go fishing. Go to like Greenville has amazing festivals. That's the Duck Derby. That's Artisphere. There's yeah. a ton of them. Playgrounds. Like you don't, don't feel like you have to spend a ton of money to have fun because you don't and that's great and that inspires people you know if, if they're just overwhelmed they don't know where to start people yeah. can find this kind of advice your complete article that you wrote on this on kidding around greenville yep we've got a link on our uh, website and all that information is on screen now but uh really as we as we set off to to just have the best uh, new year ever we can uh, being thrifty and having fun any any final pieces of advice <laughs> Um, I don't really because no, j just go read the story. <laughs> yeah, just have some fun with it. And yeah. will you stick around for trending stories a little bit later in the show? I would love to. All right, Christina, thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>